a big watch. We haven't fun. At NASA, we're reaching for new heights so that we remain the world's leader in space. We're pioneers and we always have been, and we're building on that pioneering spirit in science and technology so that we make the world a better place and we create jobs right here on Earth. Everything we do is unique. And when you explore space, you learn about not only about what's out there, but what's down here and why it's the way it is. We have the best engineers and scientists in the world. And today, right now, they're developing game-changing technologies for our next great achievements in space. We're building something that can go lunar. We can build something to go to an asteroid. We can go to Mars with this. This is the next step that we've been looking for since the Apollo era. With Orion and our heavy lift space launch system, we're gonna send humans into space farther than they've ever gone before. This year's Orion test flight will be the most aggressive for a human spacecraft in more than 40 years. Apollo happened before I was born, so this for our generation will be uh, the exploration missions that we get to see in our lifetime. As the NASA administrator, uh, I feel like a new father because as a result of NASA's efforts, we now have an American capability to get our cargo to the International Space Station through Orbital Sciences and SpaceX. And in just a few years, we're expecting that we'll have that same ability to get our own astronauts to space from American soil, where we ought to be launching. Yeah, it feels good in there. That's going to be an amazing day when that finally happens, that, that a private company gets to go do this. It's just going to be amazing. We are going to have our own safe, reliable, American-made vehicle. Well, the crews right now on the International Space Station are using this wonderful outpost to help us get farther and farther into space, to asteroids, to, to Mars eventually. I think the science on station is making incredible breakthroughs that are going to help us make life better for people right here on Earth. We and our other international partner crewmates are working off the planet for the planet. NASA, along with our international partners, conduct scientific research every day here on the station as we use this orbiting laboratory as a stepping stone for future deep space exploration. Well, certainly we have an opportunity, I think, in the space station program to uh, to be able to show something that's real, that's on orbit, it's something that's there today. It's built for science, it's ready to go, and so now we are going to use it to its full extent. So we're going to bring on new researchers, bring on new educational opportunities, bring on new commercial opportunities, and make this thing fully usable so that we bring good results back to Earth. Through our investment in space technology and R&D, and our partnerships with private industries, and our constant efforts to out-innovate the world, our scientists are innovating new chapters in space exploration. And you are go to arm toe separation. We're exploring new destinations, identifying and studying asteroids, all on our pathway to Mars. We're getting bolder, so we need to make sure that the science is behind all those big, lofty missions. Can we really, truly jump on an asteroid and then redirect it um, out of Earth's path so that it doesn't hit Earth and we don't have catastrophe and things of that nature? I mean, what better benefit to mankind? And to do that, we need to test and develop next generation technologies. Through advanced aerospace technologies used in everything from modern aircraft to suborbital rockets and the commercial vehicles servicing low Earth orbit today, we're building the machines to take us farther into the high frontier. When you say, think out of the box, well, looking at other planets is thinking out of our planetary box, the Earth. We're using these technologies to answer some of the critical questions facing Earth right now and in the future. We need to know more about climate change, natural events, and the forces that affect us every single day. This mission will provide the best global data set of precipitation that we've ever had. And that's really important for everybody from understanding drought in the Southwest to the monsoon patterns in Asia. These are big questions about our Earth and about our climate, and if we want to be able to make sure the Earth is still a healthy place for people to live in 50 years, we need to understand these things, so it's important from that sense. We want to understand global processes, and that's why we use satellite images, because we have a large view of our Earth, um, areas that are very, very remote that we can't get to very easily, and we can observe these areas continuously. Exploring the universe is what we do. We're committed to answering those fundamental questions about the cosmos its origins and how it works, and 
if there's life out there somewhere. I think some of the most amazing things that we're learning are actually how to be really good detectives on another planet, which is a really difficult job. Europa is one of the few places in the solar system where we know liquid water exists. It exists underneath this ice shell. Uh, there's an exciting possibility that there might be life underneath that ice shell. NASA is here to raise the bar for human achievement. I like to think that exploration is uh, encompassing and inclusive. It encourages everybody to expand and reach. And in doing that, more people realize that they can expand and reach. I don't even know if the scientists who developed the technology and had the vision to create JWST understand what we're going to get as far as the data. It's probably going to be spectacular. MMS is actually studying the very trigger of space weather, which is where magnetic field lines come together hundreds of years ago. We may not have cared so much that space weather was happening all around us or these phenomena with the solar wind were happening, but we do today. NASA is everywhere, on every airplane. We're with you when you fly. Constantly monitoring the health of our home planet. Earth is changing and we're on it. Permanently working and living in space, reaping benefits for all of us here on Earth. Speeding across the solar system in search of new discoveries breaking the boundaries of interstellar space, looking into our past with NASA's great observatories, investing and creating those game-changing technologies, and we're doing it all to help secure our future. We're a community dedicated to research and discovery in service to society. We have a responsibility to the future generations, to, to the future generations of engineers, scientists, technologists, explorers. That's our challenge.